Hey, my name's Abby. I'm a reporter here at the Columbus Dispatch, and this week I'm going to do the Columbus Coffee Experience, and I'm going to follow the trail of all the locations in Columbus and the surrounding area. If you do four of the stops, you get a free t-shirt, but you get a free coffee mug by doing all of them. So, that's what I'm going to do this week. I may die from too much caffeine, but caffeine is a reporter's best friend. So, I'm going to pick out my favorite spots and help you complete the Columbus Coffee Trail, and hopefully get your free stuff too. So I'm here with Sheridan Hendricks. Sheridan is also a reporter at the Columbus Dispatch, and we are here at Roosevelt Coffee House. I really love coffee, and I'm very happy to be here. So I got just a black drip coffee. I got a Vietnamese iced coffee, which has iced coffee and uh, sweetened condensed milk and some spices in it. All right. Oh, it's hot. So I'm just gonna drink the whole thing. <laughs> Um, I would give this a 4 out of 5. Mm -hmm. This was cold, this was sweet, but not as spicy as I normally like them, so. I would probably say, I mean like, it wasn't anything crazy, 3 out of 5 for the black coffee, but that I'd probably agree a 4 out of 5. Atmosphere, I really like it here, it's really spacious, and it also doubles as like a social justice area. Ooh, social justice, what we do in the community type thing, which is cool. I love coming to Roosevelt, I love working here when I get the chance. I love getting to just come hang out and know that the coffee that I'm buying is actually uh, getting to do something good with this. So stop number two, we are at One Line Coffee and I got a honey latte which is locally sourced honey mixed, turned into a sauce with lavender and lemon peel. I got a Kyoto cold brew coffee which is a little bit different than a regular uh, cold brew coffee as opposed to just putting the coffee grounds into water and then letting it soak, they do a slow drip here. Cool, let's give it a try. Ooh. I like this for many reasons. I love iced coffee, I love cold Ooh. brew, right? But with a normal cold it's brew. It's not acidic. Yeah, it's not as like sharp of a flavor. And this is really good, it's sweet, so it offsets like the acidity of the espresso. For all the cold brews that I drink, five out of five. Yeah, it's a good location in the short north. And it's cute, it's got like exposed brick, um, but it is a little small, so we're like huddled in a corner here. We are at Mellow, and we got charcoal lattes. I don't know what that means, but it has activated charcoal in it. What's interesting about this is that um, I feel like when most people would look at this and they see that it's like not just like a black coffee, but it, like it looks black and gray, they'd be kind of like, it's like so subtly sweet. You can see it on your on your teeth and on your tongue when you're drinking it. So if you've never had a charcoal latte before, be prepared. It's like dark, it's like my soul or something. It's dark like my soul. So we are at Stoffs at North Market. There are how many locations? Like four. Four locations. Seven. There's seven stops <laughs> locations. Seven stops location. I just got black coffee. I just have a nice coffee. Cool. I drink a lot of coffee. I love stops. I do love stops. I always go to the one in Grandview, which is a good location, good atmosphere. Um, this you can't really like judge it on atmosphere, but we love I mean, the there's North something Market. cool about being in the North Market too. It's yeah. a historic building. It's true. Good vibes. You can get food while you're here. Yeah. We are at Boston Stoker in the Victorian Village, and we are buzzing, so we are gonna start splitting this <laughs> This is the turmeric ginger chai, so let's, let's try. This is their signature drink, and it is very good. It's like savory, but earthy. sweet. Yeah. Which, that is really good. I was not expecting to like this. Yeah. I thought, like, at this point where I'm sweating. Yeah, it's like the, the ginger's, like, really sharp, mm -hmm. but the turmeric, The nice thing about this place is that it's really quiet. Um, mm -hmm. Good music, open seating, ample parking. So hi, we are at Brioso. Today, Sheridan was off doing some reporter things, so I'm joined by Megan Henry. She's a business reporter at the Dispatch. We ordered an Ohio maple latte, and Sheridan and I learned yesterday that we should be splitting the drinks because it's too much coffee to consume in one day. So I will try it and I will pass it off to you. All right. It looks really pretty. Mm, 
That's really, really good. Sweet. It just really gets to it smooth. It's not yeah. too sweet either. You're no. right. It is smooth because like the sweetness of the maple offsets like the acidity of the actual espresso without it being like overbearingly sweet. What she said. <laughs> So we are at Fox in the Snow in the Italian village. I think this is the most anticipated stop of the, the trail because everyone talks about it. It's super trendy, super hip. They've got this cute little logo that everyone takes wrong side. So we got a pour over, which is what they're known for, of just like, I forget which roast it is. I can't remember. I don't remember. Oh. Let's give it a try. Yeah. It smells good. This is really good. This is really good. It's a bit on the pricier side. Again, this is a pour over, so it does take longer to make. I was a little worried that Fox in the Snow was going to be sort of overhyped. Mm -hmm. Like, because everyone kind of comes yeah. here for the aesthetic. Definitely a good place to stop by with some friends. So we are at Coffee Connections on OSU's campus. They just opened in January, so they are rather new to the coffee trail. I like it. It's cute. It's cozy. It's got a lot of nice wood decor. Very Ohio themed. Yeah, so I, I would like say it. it is a little small. Yeah. We got a French toast iced latte, which is with the brown sugar cinnamon syrup and maple syrup. Um, um, it's pretty good. Not my favorite. Pretty good. Yeah. Just needs to maybe have like a little bit more of a powerful taste. That's just my personal take. I also drink coffee black, so I'm like, <laughs> like very like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but definitely worth checking out. Locally sourced. Yeah, so. all about the local. Mm -hmm. We are at Roaming Goat, which is located in the short north, and we got their specialty latte, which is the wildflower latte. It has orange, lavender, hibiscus, and some other fourth thing. I like lavender in my lattes, so I'm pretty, I like this a lot actually. Oh, it's pretty good. It definitely tastes like the wildflower. Yeah, it's really refreshing. It is. It complements it really well. Yeah. I like it. It's cute. You know, the short north is very urban and hip, and this is very like urban, hip layout. I like it. It's a little, a little pricey, but. It is. It's a little expensive. It was like $5 just for this latte, which is a little pricier. Lunch, but it's the short north. It is the short north. <laughs> We are at Pistachio Vera in the German village, and we are sweating and shaking from coffee. So we tried tea, still caffeine, but whatever. So this is called the Schiller Chiller. It has, it's black tea with yuzu, which I don't know what that is. Juniper, which I don't know what that is. Um, Sounds and fancy. fresh mint yeah. and chamomile. So here we go. Here we go. Ooh, I really, really, really like this. <laughs> I'm a tea and novice. This is like my first intro to tea, iced tea especially, but it's really good. I love the mint. And this place is also known um, for like the macaroons that they have, which are like a French pastry. Which one did you get? I got the cherry blossom. And I got strawberries and cream, so let's go. Oh. <laughs> Megan is not cultured. <laughs> These taste like the macaroons I had in France. Really? Yeah, for wow. real. These are really good. They're expensive. It's like two dollars for this little thing, but they it's are really it. fluffy and they're filled with cream, so it is worth it. I did it. <laughs> sort of. So, I may have failed at my initial goal to do all 17 stops, which I realized is impossible, and not super healthy to do within 48 hours, but I did 10 stops. So I get the four stop t-shirt, super easy to do. I just took this guy, which was kind of like my passport with all my stamps from the different locations into the visitor center. I said, hello, sir. I have consumed an unreasonable amount of coffee for one person to consume within 48 hours. Please give me my free stuff. And he said, sure. Number one, you should not drink probably close to 10 shots of espresso in one day. It'll make you irritable and shaky and sweaty and just straight up not have a good time. Despite the fact that I may have had too much, it was all really, really good. And even if there was a drink that I had that I didn't necessarily love, doesn't mean that someone else won't love it. And I didn't even come close to scratching the surface of all the drinks that I could have had. Every coffee shop that we visited was unique. They were local. It was so cool to interact with people from the community. So I'm gonna make it my goal to finish this guy and do the rest of the seven stops in order to get the coffee mug, but it was a great experience to try all these different places. 
I just really appreciate that Columbus values local business and supporting local coffee. Get out there and drink some coffee. <laughs>